As you may know, GPT is a deep learning model for text generation that has various applications, such as AI for question and answer sessions, text summarization, machine translation, classification, and code generation. And now, with the upcoming release of GPT-4, we can expect some exciting improvements. So, welcome to AI Tech Academy. Although GPT-4 won't be significantly larger than its predecessor GPT-3, it's expected to have somewhere between 175 billion to 280 billion parameters. For reference, DeepMind's Gopher language model has similar parameter ranges. However, bigger doesn't necessarily mean better when it comes to performance. The large model Megatron NLG with 530 billion parameters didn't exceed GPT-3's performance. In contrast, the subsequent more compact model that succeeded reached higher levels of performance. The OpenAI team recognized the complexity of large language models, requiring a substantial amount of data and computing resources. This realization has caused them to focus on improving the functionality of more compact models to make them more cost-effective and efficient for many different companies. That being said, we can still expect GPT-4 to have several enhancements over its predecessor. Altman himself mentioned the company's focus on improving the performance of more compact models, which implies that we can expect improvements in that area. In addition, most large models are not optimized to their full potential. Because training the model is so expensive, businesses are forced to choose between precision and cost-effectiveness in their decisions. For example, GPT-3 was only trained once, although it made errors. Researchers were unable to perform hyperparameter optimization because the costs were out of their price range. Both Microsoft and OpenAI have demonstrated that GPT-3 could be improved by training it on optimal hyperparameters, and they've used this to support their claim. According to their findings, they found that a 6.7 billion GPT-3 model with optimized hyperparameters was able to increase performance to the same extent as a 13 billion GPT-3 model. They've discovered a new parameterization known as P, which demonstrates that the best hyperparameters for smaller models with the same architecture are the same as the best for large models with the same architecture. Recent research conducted by DeepMind has shown that the size of the model is not the only factor that affects its performance. The number of training tokens also plays a role. They have demonstrated this by training Chinchilla to produce a 70 billion model that is four times more data than large language models developed since GPT-3, despite being four times smaller than Gopher. It is reasonable to assume that OpenAI will add a total of 5 trillion training tokens to achieve a compute optimal model. This indicates that the training of the model will require 10 to 20 times more FLOPs or flops than GPT-3 to achieve minimal loss. In addition to this, the GPT-4 model is a text-only format. During the question and answer session, Altman stated that the GPT-4 will not have multimodal transport capabilities like the DAL-E. This model will only consist of text. But what accounts for that? Because it is more difficult to construct a good multimodal system than a language-only or vision-only system. Additionally, combining textual and visual information is a difficult task to accomplish. It also implies that they are required to deliver performance that is superior to that of GPT-3 and DAL-E2. Therefore, we will be expecting particularly impressive things from GPT-4. The date of the release of ChatGPT-4 has not been confirmed and we can surmise that the company is concentrating more of its efforts on other technologies such as text-to-image and speech recognition. Therefore, you might see it in the following year or the following month. We cannot say for certain. What we can be certain of is that the problem that was present in the previous version will be fixed in the next version, which will also produce improved results. But do you guys know how much it costs for the training of an AI model? You'll be shocked to hear. So let's dive into it. The cost of training an artificial intelligence model can vary greatly depending on several different factors, such as the size of the model, the amount of data used to train it, and the number of computing resources that are required. In this case of OpenAI, the organization has constructed some of the largest and most powerful artificial intelligence models that are currently available, such as GPT-3, which required a significant amount of computing power and data to be trained. OpenAI disclosed in a paper published in 2020 that the amount of money necessary to train GPT-3 was somewhere in the range of millions of dollars. This includes not only the cost of computing resources, but also the cost of data acquisition, as the model was trained on an extremely large dataset consisting of web pages, books, and other sources of text data. This cost could be quite significant. In addition, 
There is a significant financial burden associated with the process of developing and maintaining the software infrastructure necessary to train and operate these models. The amount of computing resources that are needed is one of the primary contributors to the total cost that is incurred when training an AI model. Artificial intelligence models such as GPT-3 require enormous amounts of computing power when they're being trained. This computer power is generally provided by specialized hardware such as graphic processing units or GPUs and tensor processing units, TPUs. Not only are these specialized hardware components difficult to obtain and keep in good working order, but for them to function correctly, they require a significant amount of electricity. Another factor that adds to the overall expense of training an AI model is the volume of data that must be collected to do so successfully. OpenAI employed a tremendously large dataset that includes more than 45 terabytes of data to train the GPT-3 model. It is a significant undertaking to acquire and process this amount of data, and it requires a dedicated team of researchers and engineers to handle it. To complete this undertaking successfully, a dedicated team is required. Another recent advancement in the team of robotics is the creation of soft machines that can fix themselves. Traditional stiff robots are unable to move around and engage with their environment in the same way that soft robots can, because soft robots belong to a new generation of robots. They are made of materials that are bendable and conformable. However, up until now, the vulnerability of these soft robots to damage and regular wear and tear has limited both their lifespan and their functionality. But now, researchers have developed an entirely new kind of self-healing robots that has potential to completely disrupt the business of robotics. These brand new soft robotics are made of one-of-a-kind material that enable them to heal themselves when they're injured. When a material is damaged, microscopic capsules that contain a liquid healing agent are released. This allows the material to automatically restore itself and return to its original state. This is analogous to how cuts and other skin injuries recover on their own over time. There are a wide variety of applications that can be developed for this technology within the realm of robotics, most notably within the disciplines of prosthetics and medical robotics. For example, self-healing soft robots could be used to produce prosthetic limbs that are more robust and long-lasting and require less maintenance and repair. This would make them easier to care for. They could also be in medical robots that need to function inside of the body, which is a location that is difficult or impossible to access for maintenance. So, that's the end of the video about OpenAI's GPT-4. And now, if you found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, AI Tech Academy, for regular content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.